now we will discuss the next method of finding the rank of a matrix and here we will find the rank by reducing it to an echelon form echelon form or echelon form whichever you want to, you want to pronounce it okay the steps are quite straightforward and simple the only point you would note, note that you are only allowed to do row operation that simply means no column operations here okay now we our target over here is not to convert into identity matrix but we want to convert it as an upper triangular matrix now i hope you already know what is the upper triangular matrix it simply means that this is say a diagonal of a matrix and when you call it as an upper triangular matrix all the values below the diagonal should be zero and if that is the case the matrix is called as upper triangular matrix that's the definition and then the rank is nothing but number of non zero so we will see all these uh, steps in action when we solve this question so let us begin the solution of this one and we are asked clearly to find the rank of matrix a by reducing it to echelon form so only row operations are allowed let us begin with the row operations then uh, the first operation i will do is row 2 becomes r2 plus 2 times r1 if i double this and add this will become zero and uh, if i want to make this one as zero i have to do r3 becomes r3 minus r1 so let us perform these operation the matrix a will become this 1 2 3 1 first row as it is then the second row let us solve this multiply by 2 and add so this becomes zero multiply by 2 this becomes 4 4 and minus 1 is going to be 3 multiply by 2 this will be 6 6 and minus 3 is going to be 3 again and multiply by 2 should give me minus 2 minus 2 and minus 1 is minus 3 okay now for row 3 you will do r3 minus r1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 okay 0 minus 2 is minus 2 1 minus 3 is minus 2 and 1 minus 1 minus minus 1 is going to give me 2 right and then well the row 4 is as it is so it is 0 1 1 and minus 1 i'll keep the row 4 as it is well so once we complete that uh, next we are only allowed to do row operations anyways so now what next row operations you can do you can do you can you can make uh, you can actually use r4 do you see r4 is nice it is having 0 1 1 minus 1 and if you if you do uh, three times of r4 and if you subtract from here i believe we'll get this zero so what is that step going to be i'll write down this is going to be r2 becomes r2 minus 3 times r4 if i do three times r4 and subtract oh i'll get all of them zero and the next step will be r3 becomes r3 plus 2 times r4 so i'm going to use r4 and reduce r2 and r3 let me write that nicely now this is going to be 1 2 3 1 first row and if i do r2 minus 3 times r4 if i do 3 times and subtract can you see all these values become zero and uh, same goes for r3 as well if i do r3 plus 2 r4 all these values will also become zero so i got all these zero and then this is 0 1 1 -1 that's the reduced value of a well now i can just like uh, we the, the goal of solving here is to convert into upper triangular matrix so when we say upper triangular matrix we want everything below diagonal to be zero so we can do some exchanging of the row over here so if i do okay, i'll continue writing here on right hand side uh if i do exchange r2 and r4 if i exchange second row and fourth row okay then matrix a will become 1 2 3 1 1 the first row then the second row will become 0 1 1 1 1 that is the second row and fourth row exchange and the third row was anyways zero and uh, the when we exchange that the second row comes here and all these will be zero anyways so now that's a reduced form of a now if you observe carefully that this a has this diagonal okay 
and do you see all the values below diagonal are zero so this is is u suffix t simply means upper triangular matrix so we have got a as an upper triangular matrix now as soon as we get to this step we are supposed to reduce it as an upper triangular matrix and we just did so now once we get here now read the definition of rank rank of a is nothing but number of non zero rows okay so we have to use this definition and write down the rank of a the rank of a is equal to number of non zero rows if you observe carefully the first row is non zero and the second zero row is non zero but the third and the fourth zero uh, third and the fourth row are all zeros right so there are two non zero rows first row and second row are non zero so that is two that's how i get a rank of a and that is how the echelon form is going to be or sometimes even this is called as a row echelon form i'm sure you can guess why because we are applying only using only row operations so you can also called this is a row echelon form and this is a default method if in exam they they did not mention any of the method you should use echelon form because it's the easiest method okay you get the answer faster